Russia has made liberal use of one of its most fearsome conventional weapons in the fighting in eastern Ukraine. The weapon rocket artillery system nicknamed Solnsepek, or the heat wave, fires thermobaric warheads that explode with tremendous force, sending potentially lethal shock waves into bunkers or trenches where soldiers would otherwise be safe. You feel the ground shake, said Colonel Yevhen Shamateliuk, commander of Ukraine's 95th Brigade, whose soldiers came under fire from Russia's heat wave weapon and fighting this month near the town of Izium. It's very destructive, Shamateliuk said. It destroys bunkers. They just collapse over those who are inside. Thermobaric weapons are not banned, and they are not addressed in the Geneva Conventions, a series of international agreements that govern warfare. Russia's military has deployed the heatwave weapon in the war in Syria, but its use in Ukraine has become systematic. Ukrainian soldiers who have been caught in the explosions and survived suffered a mix of burns and concussions, said Sergeant Anna Fedorchuk, an ambulance medic based in Kramatorsk, in eastern Ukraine, who has treated casualties from heatwave strikes. It's a mixed diagnosis she said of the typical casualty from a heatwave explosion. The burns are deep and severe. The Russian weapon carries a box of rockets atop a tank-like track vehicle. It can fire single rockets or a terrifying volley. Still, like many Russian weapons deployed in the Ukraine war, the heatwave system may not be as effective or decisive in combat as Russian military propaganda suggested it would be. Developed in the 1980s and once viewed as an awesome and feared invention of late Soviet military prowess, the heatwave, formerly known as a 2s one heavy flamethrower, has drawbacks. With a range of only 6 miles, it must be driven close to the front to fire. There, it has been vulnerable to Ukrainian ambushes. The strike on the vehicle sent its rockets sailing out into the Russians' own column of armored vehicles, although it was unclear whether any were destroyed.